everybody and welcome to another video uh, today I am going to be doing some fertilizing of um, well starting off with just one field that I have planted and uh, the crop that has already popped uh, and that is near the shop itself and I uh, I got a little excited when I I never pay attention to the in stock um, you know equipment I usually like going for mods because they're a little more realistic and uh, and I just enjoy the different features that mods have. But this this uh, piece of equipment caught my eye um, because it can do solid fertilizer and, of course, solid lime. And it can also do liquid. I've I never really paid attention to this thing before. Uh, it's called the Stera. Uh, so, yeah. And I uh, purchased it with GPS. Uh, we'll, so we'll see how that works. But, yeah, I'm excited to try this thing out. I've never, never even paid it any attention. So... I usually just go with the John Deere 4940 just because that's what I'm familiar with and I, I like that. But anyway, I'm um, going to go ahead and refill it now. Not the most realistic uh, refilling action, but it'll work. And I think one bag should probably be enough. These are pretty small fields. So yeah, this is a pretty pretty neat looking machine. Like, a, yeah, I never really paid attention that they can do both liquid and solid, so I kind of just stick to solid fertilizer because um, at my California farm, which is where most of the processing plants have been set up, and I can produce biodiesel and different things, and uh, I also produce solid fertilizer from compost. Um, that's one of the processing plant mods. Um, so. And of course, I mean, you could just spread manure, but I, I like to do the uh, composting one, collecting grass and different things. Um, so that's why I prefer solid. Um, but yeah, this can do liquid and solid, so I'm pretty excited about that. And of course, I'd spread lime too, because um, I'll show you. I've been doing some soil samples, and the pH is looking pretty decent right now, but we do, of course, uh, it always seems to start out this way. As soon as I do sampling, that I have the low nitrogen content so I'm just gonna bump that up a bit um, and I'll show so here yeah so field six uh, it was planted a while ago that's just old seed radish I could probably do that one uh, real quick on the way to field nine which is where I just planted canola uh, uh, a couple videos ago and uh, it's already popped and grown up um, a little bit so I'll be doing that as well but yeah just gonna head out and uh, try out this machine. And I'm liking the, the little GPS screen that's a pretty cool looking screen. I like that. And like I said, I purchased it with GPS and also um, we're using the precision farming mod. Uh, so we will have auto rate application once I get in the field, since we already have the soil samples, um, but the entire field almost always need nitrogen according to the samples, so it's a little hard to see when the, uh, the boom in the way, but we will manage. See, it's kind of a goofy looking device, or goofy looking machine, that's why I never really paid much attention, but hey, if it's, uh, if it's useful and, uh, most likely efficient. It's 100 horsepower less than the 4940, and um, given these small fields, and you, most of them aren't that uh, pretty flat for the most part. Well, not really most, but this machine should be adequate for my purpose. So, um, yeah. So let me see. I don't need to unfold the sprayer. <laughs> Going dry fertilizer. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I just saw the little door there opens up for the spr spreader. It should say spreader, but it says sprayer. Um, yeah, okay, that's what that unfold is for the booms, which I don't want to do. Uh, let's see, I need to bump up. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. I see it now. I'm just watching my box here. So activate automatic rate. I want to bump that up. Uh, 
it's telling me it doesn't, the crop itself, but I want to get it in the soil, so I wonder if this will let me do it. Something, sometimes these little things happen, it's like in real life it wouldn't matter, but all right, let's just see if it works. This field needs nitrogen anyway, but let's see. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, so... Alright, I'm watching my map now. Watching the little map there in the bottom left hand of the screen. Just to follow along. So it doesn't want to do the automatic rate. Um, probably because the mod is telling me that my standing crop, which right now is oil seed radish, does not require fertilizer. Because it's I consider it a cover crop. Um, but I want to get the soil itself fertilized and get nitrogen in there, so um, I'm not going automatic at the moment. We'll see how it is uh, once we get in the canola field. I should probably bump the speed up a little bit. And then, yeah, there we go. Always seems stuck at seven. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave it at seven then. Also, I'm being mindful of, uh, I am fertilizing pretty close to a waterway, so I, uh, I'm gonna come back at some point and do kind of like a, probably a berm or something if it'll let me change the terrain. Because um, I like to be mindful about uh, waterways and things, so I just realized that now. <laughs> that I didn't uh, pay attention to that. I am, there is a water aid, waterway right there. Um, so uh, I will be installing some kind of block, something to block the flow, the sheet flow from the field during rain events. So I'm just watching the map now, fertilizer map. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the fertilizer. And I'm gonna head down to the next field. Got a flash is on. Try and run through the grass for a little bit. Got dirty pretty quickly. <laughs> right, here we go. Keep it at a 10 miles an hour for now. So yeah, nifty little machine. Like I said, I never even paid this thing any mind. Uh, never noticed the fact that it could do liquid and solid, which is pretty neat. So might be keeping this for the long term. Uh, the grass. This is, I'm rolling past the left side. On the left side is the grass field. What I'm cutting for hay or for uh, collecting grass, I'm not sure yet. I realize that this map doesn't have a, I don't think it has a sell point for hay bales. Um, so I'm gonna take a second look at that. Um, doing hay is a lot of work, <laughs> requires a lot of time. Um, so I might change my plan there, but for now I've got the uh, this spine out there. So uh, like this, gra this field will eventually need nitrogen as well. Oh, it says pH is bad too. So I might come back through here and line. Oh, okay. Yeah, pH. They wanted 6.75. Let's take a look at that. What's our pH showing? Okay, 6.75. So we should be a little closer to the greener side of things. So I see. Okay. Just checking. These aren't really in uniform rows, so. going to uh, climb in here and just start spreading.
get our map loaded. Okay, we got the map loaded in the bottom corner there. Activate automatic rate. Let's see if it'll keep that for us. Yeah, so it's working now. Oops. Um, so yeah, we're automatic rate is on. It's correct. And yeah, we can just go. Awesome. So we're even slower in this field. Okay, there we go. Six. There we go. We're laying on pretty heavy. Uh, get it up to the goal, which 200. I don't actually know in real <laughs> in real world what is an ideal soil. I think I've looked it up before, and I don't know. I just, I, you know what? I just go by what the the sim tells me. Honestly, uh, I should look more into that at some point to see what is actually the realistic nitrogen content and that's looks like it's kilograms per hectare is what it's based off of so make a note to myself to look that up at some point yeah I guess I'll uh, let's see I don't think I can add lime in with fertilizer in the sim. I think it's got to be one or the other. But uh, I'm not going to... It's going to be a while before I burn through the fertilizer to add lime, so that'll be another trip to the field. And I'm just watching my map there on the bottom left hand. Uh, actually, I can make that bigger, can I? No, no. Oh, yeah, it's not going to do it. Okay. It's got to stay tiny. So, yep, just watching that map and uh, filling in the red. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was... I didn't think uh, it would leave uh, track prints or tire tracks. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I've gotten used to it not, uh, yeah, I've gotten used to the sim not registering the tire track, so that's cool. A little bit more rela realism there. Which means I'll be following those tire tracks from now on when I go to do uh, Lime application. And I just realized I forgot all about GPS. Uh, turning on the GPS, but I don't really think it'd be... I mean, I can just drive it manually. It's not going to save me a whole bunch of time and effort to do that. Although my tracks through the field would probably be a little neater. Could have planned this better, probably. <laughs> okay, and then we'll be the last loop here, probably. Yeah, so like I said, I'll say it again, this is a pretty nice little machine. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited that I uh, decided to give this thing a chance because it's, it's going to work great. Uh, most of the fields in this map on Woodshire are pretty small. Um, last time I did fertilizer application I think it was in Wisconsin and I have quite a large field there so um, that's why I went with the 4940 something I can cover a little more ground efficiently but uh, yeah this thing does pretty good so it's, it's a little goofy looking but I think uh, I like it okay sprayers off and we'll see where my Try and follow my tire tracks out of here. Oh, oops. Further down, that's okay. So the majority of that field has been fertilized now, that's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna wait after I mow to fertilize the grass field. Um, so I think uh, I just prefer to do that. 
Okay, let me check my map here real quick. So, those two are fertilized. 12 is not ready. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't sampled 11. I think those right now are the fields that are ready for fertilizer. Because um, I'm just starting out now. Just finished sampling 1, 8, and 3 and all those. So, yeah. Might hop across and do some uh, mowing then. So that cool down. Yeah, cool little machine. Okay. Sweet. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> All right, just run across the road here. Hop on the disc spine for a bit. Since this, yeah, this grass is getting pretty high. starting up. Alright, let's go. And now I've got the map once again in the bottom of the left of the screen and that's showing uh, estimated yield I think and gives a color based on that. So that's what we're watching down there. Oh, and this grass is a uh, different color now. So this is uh, wonder why that is. Huh. So I think uh, the correct practice is to offset the mower. I think I might try that actually. Because uh, you don't want to be riding ahead of the cutting the cutting machine, but uh, originally I had to do that to create one loop around the field, so uh, let's see. Okay, there it is. And then, <laughs> see if I figure this out. Oh, there we go. I think that's correct. You want to ride every, you can ride over the previously cut grass. As long as, uh, straddle it really. Let's see there. I'm going to come back in here and ted it or whatever. Rake it, we'll see. And right, let's try that out. offset by that much. Can't, I don't think I can get that boom to go over anymore. Yeah, that's another trail behind me. This field definitely looks good. I'll uh, 
It's a nice looking field and it's conveniently located right across from the shop. So I would like to get some nice hay out of here if possible, but uh, that is, like I said, a lot of work. I'm just thinking on the other field that I fertilized near this uh, waterway here, I think I could at least plant some trees or something, um, get some big trees along the waterway, because this, this field is a little more protected uh, when I come in here to fertilize at some point. Um, but yeah, I want to create some kind of buffer zone just to prevent any fertilizer and stuff from easily getting into the, the water there. So I thought uh, I thought this field was pretty small, and I, that's why I purchased that particular disc spine. I know there's bigger ones, but I'm just watching uh, how long it's taking to do a, a pass through this field, and it's like maybe I should have purchased a bigger one, a bigger mowing setup. Yeah, so <laughs> this is gonna take me a while, <laughs> and I'm yeah, I'm just watching the. Uh, so it looks like we're getting a little bit more yield down here in the bottom end of the field. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this turns out, but I think I'll just probably cut the video here. I'll be doing this for a while, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.